Hi, I'm Congressman Frank Pallone. From September 15th to October 15th, we come together as a nation to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. It's a time to celebrate and recognize the history, culture, and contributions Latinos have made to our country. The fact that New Jersey is one of the most diverse states is one of our greatest assets, and I'm proud to represent more than 160,000 Hispanic and Latino people in New Jersey's 6th Congressional District. People like Perth Amboy's Mayor Wilda Diaz, New Jersey's only Latina mayor, and freeholder Ronald Rios, who works every day to improve the quality of life for Middlesex County. There's also gold medal Olympian Lori Hernandez of Old Bridge, who captured our hearts and inspired our nation this summer as a member of the U.S. Women's Gymnastics Team. Alongside these notable members of our community are countless teachers, medical professionals, public servants, and others who continue to enrich our state every day. As we celebrate the culture and recognize the contributions of the Latino community, let us also focus on continuing the fight to fix our broken immigration system so that families don't have to live with the constant fear of being torn apart. It's critical that Congress come together to reform our country's outdated and harmful immigration system. Anti-Latino de demonstrations and immigrant discrimination should have no place in our country. And we also have an obligation to restore the Voting Rights Act to protect millions of eligible voters in the Latino community. We must continue to fight for everyone, including the Latinos living in states where new discriminatory voting laws that reduce early voting periods, place restrictions on registration, and limit the types of identification used to vote will negatively impact access to the voting booth. No citizen who's eligible to vote should be denied this constitutional right. As a member of the Congressional Voting Rights Caucus, I'm committed to ensuring all eligible voters have the ability to participate in our representative government. There are those who will continue to attempt to divide us with disparaging statements about the Latino community, but we're one nation and we will continue to embrace our multicultural fabric. As our economy continues to improve and expand every single month, we must ensure this growing economic security reaches all of our families and that we're building a more strong and inclusive country. And I'm proud to serve and work with the Hispanic and Latino community on this Hispanic Heritage Month and every day we must renew our commitment to addressing the challenge we face together.